Hey, what's going on guys? Rez here and welcome to a brand new video. So it's been a while since I've uploaded and very quickly, Happy New Year's to everybody. I know it's, well, as of the day I'm recording this, don't know when it's going up, it's the 22nd of January, so it's a little bit into the New Year's, but I have not uploaded since last year. So, that sounds weird to say, but I hope everyone is having a safe and good New Year's. I hope the year is going well for you so far. But today we are going to be doing a tutorial video. I know I used to do a lot of tutorials on games. I've not been playing games much lately, um, but I've been doing more art-based stuff, so I thought why not do a art-based tutorial? As you can tell by the title, it is on how to create and then edit a speed art using OBS and Sony Vegas. So OBS is the recording part, Sony Vegas is the editing part, and I'll have a thing on screen now telling you what times are for each section. So if you just want to know how to record it in OBS, then watch that section. But if you want to know how to edit it in Sony Vegas, skip to that part. The times will be stamped on the screen because there are no annotations can't really have you skip there so you have to do it yourself I believe unless there's something else to do if yeah I don't, I don't know what the option is if there is I'll also leave it down in the description now that that's out of the way let's get into it on the screen as you can see I have well, audacity in the background which is recording my microphone but I have OBS open which is the middle window making this very strange looking kind of mirrored effect because it is recording itself. That will go away soon when I show you the settings. So to start off with, OBS is free. You can just type in OBS download or OBS on Google or whatever browser you are using and then go on their website and hit download. It's completely free. But the settings are the main part of this kind of OBS section. They're not too important and you can mess around with them yourself. It depends both on the power of your PC and what you want quality wise. But these are the settings that I have. You can mainly just pause the screen and write them down. I'm not gonna go through all of them because there are quite a few, but the main ones we'll be looking at are output, audio, and video. So the first one is output, and this is just the video bit rate and other things like that. And the only options I believe I really changed are any of these. So if you hit the up and down button, you can change it. It's not overly important. And now the audio, this is just if you are recording the actual desktop audio or microphone because you can record your microphone in OBS. I haven't actually changed anything as far as I remember. It was a little while ago, but I don't think I've changed anything because I don't tend to record desktop audio. And finally, the video settings. And because obviously I'm recording, I can't change any of them so they are grayed out, but you can still see them. I will zoom in on them for you so that you can see them a bit better. Just copy those down. As you can see, I just have the main resolution of 1920 by 1080 and then the FPS of 60. Also quickly, if we go back to output, this is grayed out too because I'm recording. I completely neglected to actually talk about it because of that. Um, but this option right here and this option are important ones because you pick what format your video is going to record in. So I have MP4 because it's one of the best ones there are a few other ones you can look through but then I have the recording quality high quality and it says what file size it will be and now recording for me is about 400 megabytes on this quality and the quality is fairly decent with not much loss there are two settings higher than this where you can get even higher and crisper quality now because I don't know if it will mess up the current recording I'm not actually going to add anything but as you can see here these are the sources that I currently have that I am recording with so there's game capture which will capture gameplay and then it's display capture which will basically capture everything on the display and as you can see with this one on it has this red box around the edge but to actually get these little options down here all you have to do is come to the sources section and click the plus button once you have that you get all of these options for various things so there's audio input and output capture as you can see display capture and game capture are there which is what I have and I usually pick display capture for something like this that is basically it for setting up OBS now we're going to move into actually recording something like Photoshop because that's what I'm going to be using for my speed arts let's get Photoshop open now if you don't have Photoshop you can go onto the Adobe website and then sign up there go to the app section where Photoshop is located or if you want to use Illustrator for example go on the app hit download and you can actually get a 30 day trial for it but that is just an easy way to get it just go on a website sign up and get a free 30 day trial it's as simple as that now that you have Photoshop open we are going to be going into the create new tab so I have Photoshop CC 2017 so that's why it looks this way if you have an older version it might be a little different and you can just come up here to file and then there'll be a drop down that says create new but once this page is up you're going to be wanting to type in whatever canvas size you have and if you want a preset detail on what it should be saved as now usually when I'm creating weapon designs I tend to have the canvas size in pixels normally I always have it measured in pixels but if you are creating a poster for example and you want the size dimensions to be exact you can choose inches centimeters millimeters points and 
whatever the hell that is. I normally tend to keep my canvas size quite large as well because it's always good to make something that's too big rather than too small because in Photoshop you can't upscale something and keep the same quality. And something important is to have your resolution on 300 color mode, not too important. I would suggest RGB color though because if you have it on grayscale for example you won't get any color. And now we're going to hit create new. Here we go. Here is the brand new clean canvas for us. It is as simple as that, guys. But now you are ready to actually start recording your speed art. I usually use a tablet to create, so I'm going to plug that in, do a very quick little drawing of something, and it just shows you kind of what it's like. I'll speed that up as well, so you can sort of see what the speed art format looks like if you don't know what it is yet. After that, we are going to be getting into actually editing it in Sony Vegas. Okay, so that's basically how that works. As you would have just seen, it was a sped up version of me just doing this. It's not perfect, I'm just doing it quickly. Um, I'm not u even using a reference image. Uh, basically what this is, is I've just been, I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Origins lately, so basically it's a sickle sword, also known as a Kopesh. I believe that's how it's pronounced, which is an ancient Egyptian sword. Um, and it's kind of shaped like this, and surprisingly, it took a couple of tries to get the shape right. It, it's an odd shape, so <laughs> yeah, it took a few tries without using a reference image, but it's fine. Now what we're going to do is go into Sony Vegas. I'm going to show you how to edit what you just saw. All right, so now that we have Sony Vegas open, we are going to be editing the thing we just recorded, and I'm going to show you how to sort of create the speed art effect i guess it's very simple to do and also sony vegas isn't free it is rather expensive this along with adobe after effects tend to be what most youtubers edit with however i am going to be using sony vegas pro 13 today we're going to get what we just recorded and drag and drop it into sony vegas now that you have your speed art recording in here however long it may be the first thing you're going to want to do is right click on it go down to properties and hit disable resample. Now, depending on how fast you want this to be and how short you want the video to be, you can do a few things. To make a long video quite short, just right click and then go down to insert or remove envelope. And now, as you can see, there's a velocity setting. This will add this little green line going along the video track that you selected it to be added to. And now you can drag this up and down, as you can see. So to speed the video up, drag it upward. To slow it down, drag it downwards. Now, if I bring it back to the middle, you can also right click on it and also select some of the options here. But what we're gonna be doing is simply dragging the line. So let's drag it upwards. And as you can see, as I drag it up, this little icon appears up here. And now what this means is when the video is actually going to end. So after you've selected how how short you want this to be, so this will indicate that, so that will go down to say like four minutes. After you've indicated that, you're going to want to trim your video to that spot, otherwise it will restart. I'll show you what I mean. So let's drag it upwards a little further, and we're going to bring it down to say, let's say six minutes. That might be a bit too fast, but as it's just for a tutorial, I'm just kind of showing you what you do. Now that you have this here, you can either click and it will snap to that little icon and then hit S and that will split the video and then you can delete the extra part or you can simply put your cursor on here and then go to the end, click and drag inwards. This will do the same thing, but it, it's, it's a little slower, a little faster, depends on what you prefer. I normally split things because that's what I'm used to doing and this should be sped up now if I play it. As you can see, it is sped up but it's not as fast as I would like it. So if you want to make the video a little bit faster, you can continue to drag this up to the top, but if you've already moved that all the way up to the top and don't have any space, what you can do is go to the end of the video track here and then hold down control. And when you hover over, it'll give you this icon and now you click, drag inwards and you'll see this little zigzag line that appears. And now if I drag it out this way, it will get wider. That means that the video is slowing down. But if I drag it inwards, it gets smaller and the gaps become less. So that means that the video is speeding up. As you can see, I can drag it all the way down to a minute and a half, but that'll be too fast. And now if I go to the same spot and click play, it should be even faster. And there you go. That is how you do it. It's as simple as that. Now the next part is if you want to add music and intros in. I'm not too bothered about what's going in here. So this is a non-copyrighted song from someone called Jobs. If you know who Jobs is, he's a Borderlands YouTuber, but he also creates music which is free to use. And now I'm gonna drag and drop it underneath the video. 
As you can see, the music goes a little far, so I'm going to click at the end of the speed art video track, hit S to split it, hit delete to get rid of the extra, and there you go, you have a speed art edited. There are some other things you can do, as I said, you can add your own overlay here or just cut this off completely. And that is how you set up OBS to actually record your speed art, then how to record it in Photoshop, and then put it in Sony Vegas, edit the video, render it out and then, of course, uploading to whatever platform you'd like. If it's short enough, you can put it on things like Twitter or Facebook, but if it's longer than a couple of minutes, you can place it on YouTube, which is what I will be doing. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. Sorry if it might be a little confusing. If you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. I will be sure to help you out, or try my best at least. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I shall upload a speed art of the completed version of this sword once I have finished it. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video, I hope you are having a great day and a good 2018 so far. Leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy, and please let me know if you would like any more videos like this or any speed arts on my channel, as I will continue to upload them. Thank you so much for watching, bye guys.